Hi, I'm Bradford Ferguson. In this video, I'm going to cover what I saw at the Tesla shareholder meeting, especially the factory tour, which people were not allowed to take pictures or videos. I'm also going to talk about what Elon talked about in the shareholder meeting and share my thoughts on that. So let's talk a little bit about the factory tour. The very first thing they showed, and they only gave people like a minute to check this out, was how the pieces from the Unbox with CyberCab are going to come together. So we got to see that. So we ended up posting a mock-up just so people could see on the actual cyber cab what the four pieces are. So the front, the two sides, and the rear. So the unbox method is where they're going to make these things separately, not together. So it's a lot more efficient. This is something they unveiled at Investor Day on March of 2023. And uh, so we share what that looks like with the front. It's the front wheels, the hood, the windshield, and the dash. With the rear, it's the rear wheels, the trunk, and the top of the car, and the bottom of the car. And then you have the two sides, which go from not including the front wheel, from the front wheel all the way to the rear quarter panel. But the sides do not include the tires, so the tire stays with the rear. And essentially, they have it set up so it just slides together. Uh, and it, it seemed to lock in place, but uh, they're going to use uh, some bolts and some glue, some ad adhesive. That was really cool to see. And in the shareholder meeting, we did see a video showing some snippets on how the cyber cab is made. They did say they had a line there on the first floor for the cyber cab. The wiring harness for the cyber cab is very minimal. And I would imagine that the each of the four pieces of the cyber cab would have their own wiring harness and then a module that links them all together once all the pieces are together. Uh, we also saw the motor for the cyber cab. It looked a lot more compact than the Model Y motor. That's going to be a front wheel drive. So it'll be a single motor with the cyber cab. Uh, it was very busy. There were a lot of forklifts uh, running around, a lot of materials going back and forth. There's definitely this traffic problem within the factory. It's really cool to see how busy that was. Larry and I spoke with Lars Moravi after the event. He was very, he was very humble. We were lavishing some praise on him. He deflected to the Tesla team and said he's just sharing what the team is doing whenever he's talking. He shared a bit about the wiring harness. It's nothing proprietary. It is going to be 48 volt. That was cool. So what stood out for me with the shareholder meeting itself is how relaxed Elon was. He's just relaxed in a good mood and he's sharing more about master plan four, which was pretty admittedly vague when Tesla shared it before that he, that they were talking about Optimus and you know, robot taxi, sustainable abundance, that it may not be a smooth road, that we're going to need to get buy-in from people along the way, and, and also just help uh, with some of the chaos that it may cause, some of the change it may cause. Most people don't like change, so you got to help bring people along for the ride. Elon shared more concrete examples in the shareholder meeting, you know, talking about Optimus in the caretaking and also with, with how it could serve as a cop or something where keep criminals from doing crime <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, so it was good to get more material on that. We talked about a million Optimus units per year capacity as starting in California and then maybe the 10 million version will go in Texas. I, I'm curious when that starts. He didn't give a date. So yeah, maybe we hear more about that in the coming weeks. People asking Elon questions, he might reveal a little more on that. The real big thing was Elon talking about how Tesla is going to need more chips and they are not getting enough chip commitments or their chip makers are incentivized to just make as many chips for them for Tesla as possible and that they're not just overloading Tesla with chips. I think this may be with the AI4 chips. So it's pretty radical what he's asking for. And he's seeing that he's they're not delivering on it. It's like, give me more chips. And they're not giving him more chips. 
So Elon thinks he may need to get into the chip making business. I'm curious to see the reaction of Taiwan Semiconductor, Samsung. You might notice I'm wearing a bunch of crazy stuff. <laughs> so I went a little crazy at the merch store. Uh, got the this cowboy hat. Um, and then there was these two Optimus. So this gold Optimus they had there. Not sure if that is new or not. Um, also had this Optimus from the diner. It's got fries. It's got a cyber mug here. When you left the event, they had these. It's pretty cool. I'll hold it here so people can see that. It's super sweet. Also got the bomber jacket. So even though it's sold out online, they had a stash that they set aside for shareholders attending the meeting. Here's my lanyard. So that's all the merch. That's the unveil. And I got this t-shirt too. So that's about it. I thought it was a great shareholder meeting. Definitely good vibes. Great that the pay package passed. It was cool to see parts of the factory, see how busy Model Y was. I wish I could have taken some video or pictures, but it wouldn't have conveyed like how awesome the factory is. It's just a wild operation. Anyways, I'm Bradford Ferguson with rebellionair.com and bye for now.